guys, it's Treehouse ASMR here. Welcome up into the Treehouse. And today we are back with another video. Um, I'll be showing you guys what I do with my rare cards. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to protect your rare cards. So, as you can see right here in our video, on our desk actually, I have mostly alternate arts, except this Charizard VMAX. I don't think that's an alternate art, it's just a Charizard VMAX. But, uh, so I'll be teaching you guys how to protect your rare cards and what I do with my rare valuable Pokemon cards. So, if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know that I put my rare cards or my valuable cards in these plastic slabs. I'm pretty sure they're plastic. Yeah, they are plastic. I put them in these plastic screw down slabs and I think they look really nice. I think they do the job. They keep the card protected and they, uh, they keep out any dust or any possible damage. Like, if I happen to drop one of these, there would be no damage. They're screwed tight shut. The card doesn't move. It's actually very nice. So, before we get started, I just want to remind you guys, please, guys, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be making a lot more videos this week. Um, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit before I get into the video. Um, so, this past week has been pretty crazy. Um, we, uh, where I live, we had a lot of flooding due to the hurricane that happened recently, and, uh, we, uh, my neighborhood got hit pretty bad, so I haven't really been making videos lately. Um, luckily, I live upstairs. Our house didn't really get flooded too bad, but, uh, the houses around mine, my neighbors, had up to four feet of water in their house. Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty crazy week with that going on with the flooding, the hurricane, and uh, the NFL football season is starting soon. So I've been doing some uh, fantasy football drafts with some buddies. It's just been a, a pretty crazy week. So if any of you watching this had a uh, are, are in an area that got hit by the hurricane or the tornadoes that came through the East Coast. Uh, I hope you guys are okay. I hope I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, so, yeah, we will be trying to make some more content for you guys this week. So please, guys, show some support on the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting some football videos this week because the NFL season does kick off. And I'm going to be making more Pokemon card opening videos for sure this week. So, please guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment on the video below. I want to see what you guys have to say about my card collection, what you guys have seen, how you guys have been, what are you guys up to, what you guys think of these slabs, anything. So let's get started, guys. I just want to teach you guys a little something about these. So I have made videos talking about these before, and if you have seen those previous videos, if you're not a new viewer, if you've already watched these videos, you know where I got these. I got these screw down two count 12 piece screw downs.
I got these screw downs, screw downs to count 12 piece from Hobby Lobby, 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 Hobby Lobby. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They cost $2.99 with tax. It comes out to just above $3. And it is a really good $3 well spent. I know there are better things out there to protect your cards. But I just, I, I like these. I chose these. They're cheap. They do the job. Um, there's very expensive. There's very nice other card protectors that uh, will also do the job but I chose these and I think I'm going to keep sticking with them until maybe my collection gets too big and uh, these start taking up too much room but I would suggest these if you guys have pretty cool cards I think you guys should also go get some of these you'll see in this video how they are put together and what I do so guys Welcome up into the treehouse, and we will get started with these screw down card protectors. So, um, I haven't really been opening up too much cards this week because I've been busy um, with the flood and uh, with everything. But I opened up these two cards. I opened up the Metacham V and the Galarian Zapdos, both alternate arts. I opened up the Metacham V in my last video. If you guys want to go back and watch that, you can watch me pull the Metacham V. And I pulled this Galarian Zapdos off camera. I pulled it off camera from a Chilling Rain booster, an individual booster pack. This is my this is now my favorite card just by aesthetics. This is actually my favorite card that I own. This was my chase card. This Galarian Zapdos V alternate art was my chase card for Chilling Rain for the longest time. For the longest time, guys. This is my favorite card that I own. And I'll give you guys a look at the Metachan V Evolving Skies. The detail on the card is crazy, so if you look closely, you can see Cloyster, Scorch, Plusle, Jumpluff, um, Minum, Hopip, there's other Metachams everywhere, there's a ton of Metachams. Uh, Oh, I'm drawing a blank on that guy's name. Uh, the the evolution before Jump Bluff, right here. Oh, and this whole thing is just lined with Metachams. This is one of the best alternate looking arts. There's so much detail inside of this. But we will get these guys slabbed up in card protectors. So. If you guys are into Pokemon cards, which I would assume, unless you're just an ASMR viewer who's watching this video to fall asleep or relax or just hang out with us up in the treehouse, then continue, continue what you're doing. But if you are a Pokemon collector and you have rare cards like these, I suggest you protect them. Do anything you can to protect them. Get them into sleeves. Um... These cards can be very valuable in the future, and they are valuable right now, regardless. And if you ever want to get your cards graded, keep them in prime condition until you send them to get graded eventually. So I'll be teaching you guys how to protect your cards the way I do. Um, I don't even think there's that many people that do what I do like this. I know there's better ways to protect your cards. There's specific sleeves that you're told to buy that you uh, package your card in, slide them in uh, when you get them sent off to be graded. I don't have those yet, but once I do, um, I'll be sending in. I know there's at least three cards that I want to get graded. I want to get this. I want to get this Blaziken card graded. I would love 
love to get this Blaziken card graded. I'm going to send that Blaziken card in for sure. I haven't really decided which company I would like to send my cards to. I know that I know that I know what company I do not want to send my card to. I refuse to send my cards to get graded by the company PSA. They do a terrible job. Their customer service is awful from what I've heard, from what I've seen. From everything I've heard, PSA, the card grading service, PSA is awful, god awful. I know they're one of the most iconic uh, companies to get your card graded by just because of how long they've been in the game. But I'd rather get my card graded by uh, Beckett's or another bigger company, uh, what is it, GMA? Uh, I don't. I just refu refuse to send my cards in to get graded by PSA. I've seen too many bad company, too many bad reviews. I've watched too many videos. Um, my friend actually, my friend has a Pikachu graded by PSA, and it got a ten. It's a ten, which is cool. But if you look at the card, there's it is, it's not a ten. It is not a ten. There's 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 uh, damage on the corners, edging. Um, so they they either it either was a ten and they damaged it when they slapped it, or they just graded it wrong. And I've seen PSA. Uh, I just saw videos of people that they don't even have their cards back. They're getting the wrong cards. If you if anybody knows what I'm talking about, PSA got caught in a big scandal where they were stealing people's cards and then slabbing another card like say i sent in this articuno for example and say this articuno is perfect 10 um and i sent it into psa they would swap my articuno out with another articuno the same card and send me back a different card with a grade of like a nine but they would keep the psa 10 and sell it or whatever and they 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 have the, the market of cards in a corner. They've literally cornered the market because they control the market with all the perfect graded cards and the higher graded cards, which uh, I just lost all respect for PSA after I heard about what they're doing. And uh, I'm not going to give them my business. I would rather use a separate company like Beckett's or something along those lines, even though there's other companies that grade they give harder scores. It's harder to get good grades by other companies. Um, I'll, I'd rather do that than give my business to PSA. Um, so that's my two cents on that. And I don't know. So what's going on, guys? I miss talking to you guys. It's been a few days since I've uh, recorded in front of a camera for you guys. How you guys been? Um, it's fun hanging out up in the treehouse with you guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm going to be coming out with more content. And if you like ASMR content, this is the place for you. Always a good time to hang out with you guys up in the treehouse. Let's get into this. My uh, new viewer 
viewers don't know, I tried to do this in a separate video uh, last week. I bought these and they, uh, they come with this bag of screws, but apparently last time uh, I bought one that was missing the screws. So thank God we got the screws in this one because uh, that's a very important piece of this. go. This is the slab that will be protecting our cards. screws, which possibly are the most important piece of this. Let me just readjust my chair. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's do Zapdos first. Let's get Zapdos slabbed up. Some of my uh, 
my viewers might remember that I'll, I'll probably screw this in off camera down here off the corner of my desk because um, I screwed in, I, I was screwing in some of these other cards with the screws and the screwdriver and I was going and I ended up screwing a hole into my desk so I got to do it off the corner so I don't screw a hole into my desk. first screw locked in. We're going to do the opposite corner to keep it stable. is the final result is a slabbed up Galarian Zapdos V alternate art locked in a case until we decide to send it away for shipment. Um, I'm not a professional grader. I, I do know what to look for. The centering seems nearly perfect. It might be a little bit skinnier and wider on that side, but I, I think this would get either a 10, it would get a 10 or a 9.5. That's a little skinnier, that's a little wider. I think this would get maybe a 9.5. There we have it, guys. This this is my favorite card that I own. So we will put that to the side for a few minutes while we get Medichan alternate art into its proper casing. see
looks pretty lined up to me. screws. Let's get these screws into their proper places. There we go, guys. Let me just turn this a little bit. We're starting with the bottom right corner. Sometimes the screws feel like they did not go in at all, and this seems to be the case for this one. Okay, that screw did not go in at all. This, I hope this case works. We gotta get lucky with the last two. If you guys hear any background noise, I do not live alone, so I can't really control that. So, I am not extremely confident in how structurally stable this one is, but it seems to be in. I know this screw is not in. Maybe it is. That's the problem with these. It feels pretty good. I'm not going to be moving these around too much, but this is the Medichan V slapped up for protection. Let me move my camera up. I have these mini easels to prop them up on. I think it looks nice. It looks good. So guys, a little update, I will be making more videos of football season. I'll be making a lot more football content because football season is starting. Mostly fantasy football talk and maybe some predictions for what will happen during each individual week. Any, fan any fantasy football fans, you will be getting a lot of fantasy football content. And there will be more Pokemon card opening videos to come up in the treehouse. So guys, 
I hope you learned a little something on how to protect your rare cards today in today's video. I hope some of you were able to fall asleep for the ASMR and relax with me up in the treehouse. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment on the video, let me know who's watching, who I can interact with, who I, I can talk to. I like talking to you guys a lot, and that'll do it for today's videos, guys. As always, thank you for joining me up in the treehouse. Take it easy.